Swaggy, and I'm an eighth grader at Westside Middle School. Nothing beats the soda! And, and this is my poem, Alcohol. It's 3.18 p.m., and my parents are passed out on the couch. I had my first communion when I was seven. I hated the taste of the bittersweet wine, so every other time I had communion, I grabbed my shoulders as a sign of no, and it felt so easy to refuse. I had my first sip of beer when I was 10. We were at a Halloween party with my parents' loud, drunk friends. My dad slung his hand, loosely grasping his bottle of Bundaberg ginger beer. Directing the lip of the bottle towards me, I leaned away, but he reached it further. As I took the glass and a swig of the beer, I snickered like a little kid, proud that I had done something so rebellious. On New Year's 2015, I had my first glass of champagne. I was late to this, seen as my friends had started drinking sooner because teen drinking has now become child drinking. Children growing up in homes that treat alcohol like a member of the family, like the community college brother who only has night classes but never goes to them and instead hangs around mom and dad convincing them to stay home and relax a little. I slept over at a friend's house a month after my 13th birthday. As the night went on, I realized her dad had not one sip of beer or any other drink. I knew that all adults had to drink because what else would they do in their free time? Read a book, join a gym, play games with their kids? My parents storm home after seven, smelling like sky vodka raindrops that hit like fists of steel, thunderclouds green with peppermint schnapps, puddles with muddy baileys, white wine sh lightning striking through a pumping fleshy heart, at the end of every night, there's a rainbow arch of a champagne cork. I despise it when they play in the rain. How exasperating they are when they come into my room. What are you doing? Tensely, I stare at my computer screen and respond, homework. And five minutes later, they come back in and repeat the same question eight more times. So, mom and dad, do I think you drink too much? When at 14, I know that your favorite brand of vodka is Tito's, and that your coffee must always be made with Bailey's liqueur and Jameson whiskey. When I see you drink like Granny takes her pills, too many times a day to count, no, I don't think you drink too much. I know you do. That's why I have made the promise to myself to not drink a single drop of alcohol for the rest of my life, because I am dreading the day I will have to roll you in wheelchairs into the hospital, obligated to sacrifice half of my liver for a chance that you may live so you won't water away thinking I don't love you. <laughs>